I had a chance to talk to both Hanahan Mayor Christy Rainwater as well as Police Chief Rick Gebhardt, and they both tell me there's more to this situation than what can be discussed in public. Officer Ken Duncan was sworn in as a Hanahan police officer last Tuesday. After that, people shared news stories of Duncan's arrest back in 2018 for impersonating a police officer and unauthorized use of signal lights for emergency vehicles. We actually cannot talk about it. It would be illegal because the whole situation has been expunged. So people that did not have um, all the information in front of them are making a lot of decisions when people who had all of the information in front of them chose to act in that accord. He was employed by two other law enforcement agencies before Hanahan hired him, both post this this incident. Um, he was first employed by the Andrews Police Department and then by the North Charleston Police Department. Chief Gebhardt said while Duncan was hired before he took over as police chief, he does have information that cannot be publicly disclosed about the allegations. Officer Duncan also went through an extensive process prior to hire. There's a polygraph examination, there's the background investigation, there's a driver's license check. If he's applying for a job as a police officer, shouldn't it be his responsibility to at least explain something like that to the public since he's working for the public? Absolutely not, because if the charge is expunged, it's like it never even happened. So he has that right to not have to disclose it because it's like it never existed. It, it is up to them if they'd like to do it or, or not, but the truth is there might not be much there to explain. Um, so I, I think that's something to consider. Chief Gebhardt says Officer Duncan will be an asset to the department and to Hanahan. And we want them to understand that we would never put them in a position to be policed by someone who we don't think can handle the job or do the duties of a police officer to the utmost authority and respect that they should be able to. I had the same exact concerns when I first heard that. I said, instantly texted our staff and said, what is going on with this? And then once I had all the information, I had to say, okay, that makes sense. The city of Hanahan did release a statement about this as well. We have that posted at CountOn2.com. In Hanahan, I'm Raymond Owens, Count On 2.